and it should also have hit your Twitter account. But we are live now, folks, and of course, I am here with Peter Shank, founder of Aquaware Software. He is here, and he's going to, we're just going to do something here pretty spontaneous, and you'll be able to ask questions in the chat. I've got the YouTube open. I also have Facebook open, so I can see you there in Facebook if you're chatting on his page um, directly there. Or best thing, of course, if you can chat right there in Facebook or YouTube, we'll monitor the chats there as well. And um, of course, a big hello to David, who I know is watching. David, if you can like chat with us somewhere, either YouTube or on Peter's page. And you can definitely ask your questions of Peter right there. So let's go ahead and get started. Peter, how are you? Doing good. A little technical difficulty, but <laughs> ready. only 50 minutes late. But hey, it's fashionably late, right? <laughs> Very fashionably late, I have to say, you know. Um, and then for folks, for those of you who are um, been wait waiting for the session, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, we're waiting. We're here. Peter is here. Definitely get in to the chat with us and ask your questions. Let's start off, Peter. Um, why don't we just go ahead and start off by you kind of telling us a little bit about you. And I'll give you the floor. Oh, well, do we have three hours? Yes. <laughs> I'm giving you a condensed version. Um, Ten years ago, I had a mind-blowing wake-up experience. I saw the entire world in black and white my entire life. I was very self-absorbed. I knew nothing about humility or discernment. Um, you know, I was interested in, in, in some different things, UFOs, prior to my wake-up experience. So um, I was a little bit out there, but not clearly not as far as I am now. But... So August 4th, I'm sorry, August 8th at 2.39 p.m. in the afternoon, 2004, I became self-aware. What does that mean? Well, my entire life prior to that, if you could see the whole world in, in black and white, right, um, through your physical eyes, um, I saw everything in high-definition color at the speed of thought. And I didn't know what was happening, and it was very, very scary. I was seeing things that shouldn't have been there, or at least that I've never saw before. But I very quickly discerned that it was energy that I was seeing. And, and only if I put my attention on it would it then notice me and then start interacting and playing. And again, I very quickly learned that if you can see these energies, you can control them. And if you can control them, you can help people. That was the big thing. So... Um, I had a Christ complex for about three months, three to six months after my wake-up experience, and I thought I was the right-hand avenging angel of God here to smite all evil in the world. And um, I was taking out bad guys left and right, if you will. Um, but it was scary because I really didn't have any like-minded people that I knew. So mm -hmm. after a couple months, a um, great friend of mine, Jason Davis, uh, who runs Zero Point, I'm sorry, uh, Blue, Blue Emerald Alchemy now, um, I called this guy up every day for three weeks, a month, twice a day. And he was so arrogant, man. He, he would just never call me back. So <laughs> one day I'm driving home, and he's like, he called me, and I was like, whoa. I was like, hey. He's like, okay, what do you got? I'm like, uh, I don't have anything. What do you mean? He's like, pull over. I was like, okay. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, wow, man. I thought I was... I thought I was out there and cocky, but this guy's over the top. So he said, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and if you answer correctly, uh, we'll see where we go, and if you don't, I'll just I'll hang up the phone and forget you ever existed. So I was right. like, wow, okay. So I pulled over, and the first thing he says to me is, do you know what ascended masters are? And I'm like, yeah, yeah no. Really? <laughs> he goes, do you know who the great ascended master St. Germain is? And I'm like, well, didn't I? just tell you I don't know who Ascended Masters are? He's like, I don't worry about that. So in the passenger seat, this very bubbly, wizard, you know, um, vibrant, electric, you know, just 
crazy energy comes up and pops up. He's like, do you see him now? I'm like, yeah, I think this is him. He goes, he goes, ask him who Porsche is. Now, Jason runs in, in, in the leagues of the alchemist, the great alchemist of old, and, and they have secrets that they, they hold dear to themselves that really no one in the world knows except for, you know, these select people. And I asked St. Germain, and he showed me this red-eyed, I'm sorry, red-haired, green-eyed, fiery beauty, and her name was Portia, and I said, well, it's his twin flame, and he got quiet for about know, a couple minutes, and he's like, he's like, what are you? I said, I don't know. Um, that's what we're here to find out. Right. It's why I'm calling you. <laughs> uh, but he goes, you know, like, earlier in the, in the conversation, he's like, really? He goes, I talk to no less than four of you a week that think you're the right-hand avenging angel of God. You know, what, what, what do you want me to do for it? So anyways, after he got past his issues, um, we started a great friendship, and we really learned how to harness what I was going through. And um, we set out on a 10-year voyage to do some amazing things together. So part of that was um, after about a year, I got fascinated with Dr. Moto's work, right? Yeah. And, you know, he, he was just amazing to me what he was doing with water. And because my entire life is really spent intellectually in, in technology, I, and I have, you know, programs, blah, 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 um, I was wondering if it was possible to ditch the digital realm with the metaphysical realm. And first, it was really easy. It was like the thought was, well, if, if he can direct frequency in the water and change the structure, I can derive intents or the frequencies for the intent and put them into water as well. So I got to work on it, and after about six months, I had a uh, program called First Water. It was um, really bad, had 10 selectable intents. Um, we put it up on the internet, and it started downloading like crazy, and um, the, the premise behind it was you would select your intent, and then you would consciously direct the frequencies into the water. But the, the six months prior to that, to really understand how is that possible, I had to um, go to what we call the Akashic Records. It's a place that kind of lives in the quantum realm. And um, I had to extract certain information to understand how is that possible. And there's a lot of dogma. There's a lot of theories about there, out there, like what the quantum realm is. And it's really simple. It's just a place where all energy intersects. Okay. And in that place, there is no space, time, or distance. There's only the now. So if you have a thought, you can project it anywhere at any time just by simply putting your attention on the target water. So um, software came out, had an algorithm that actually made that possible. Um, ten selectable intents. First water goes out. After about two months, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting feedback that is so far beyond what the original software was designed to do. I got scared and I shut it down. Took it off the internet. And then I set out for the next 18 months to develop Aquaware. Okay, Aquaware came online July 4th, 2007. The first version one had 180 selectable intents um, across six or eight categories at the time, human potential conditions, um, everything that's in 3.1 now. And it, it exploded into the world, but it, it wasn't having the success rate with people using it that I thought it would. So, for you know, for every ten people it downloaded, it only worked maybe for five of them, or maybe five and a half, depending on what they were doing. And that's not good enough. I'm a perfectionist in whatever I like to do. So, I went back to the Akashic Records, which, aka the rabbit hole. So it's the same thing. Um, <laughs> And uh, I, I looked up the information what was happening. And what was happening was um, water contains the memories of everywhere it's been, all of the energy. So I needed to erase everything in the water, thereby making it ripe for putting the intent into it. So version 1.1 came out, and water prep was born. And then we moved from that 5 to, you know, like the 75 percentile. It uh, still wasn't good enough. I was still missing something. So I went back to the Akasha Records, and we looked again, and 
what it was lacking was so that the, the subconscious mind plays a big role in, in, in all of this. And I needed a way to subdue the subconscious mind for acceptance. And that's where user prep was born. So version 1.2 of Aquaware came out a month later with user prep in it. So the premise was you would consciously direct um, water prep, user prep, intent into the water. And then, then we were in the 90% mark. Um, and then um, version 2.0 came out in the fall of 2007. Um, we were up to probably about 200 selectable intents at that time. And then what we found was people wanted a lot of intents in Aquaware, um, but they were really inhibited by what I could put into it. So if, you, if they wanted 50 more intents, I'd have to create the frequencies, update the software, get it out there. So in essence, um, Aquaware had chains on it. They, it would only, only what I put into it would go in there. So we started on a, um, I shelved Aquaware, 2.0 was the last version, and I started working on different software products based on the same technology. And we came out with a program called Neocode, which is really a beta. It was the precursor to what we call Alex. And Alex was the first program that actually allowed people to type in their own intentions. Okay? And what we found with Alex was people don't know what they want. So it's like, what? So they don't know what they want. So Alex had one version, and that was the end of it. It's, it's still available today, but it's just not supported anymore. So then, um, about a year later, I started playing around with um, chakras. And I very quickly discovered that, um, in my belief system, we are spirit energy living the human experience. So what does that mean? Um, you want to live the human experience, right? Right. And you find a book of your book of life in the Akashic Records, and you say, I want to live that life, and boom, you're born, okay? But in order for that to happen, you have to forget everything you were prior to being born. And I was like, I was like, wow, well, if I was going to pick up a book of life and forget everything I knew, I would leave breadcrumbs for me to rediscover myself as somewhere else, and I nailed it. So the 12th project was born. It's 12... Um, 12 modules based on the gods of Olympus. I use that because the, the, the gods of Olympus are very much in the human consciousness grid and people can identify with them. But basically what the software does is you use it for um, up to three or four days per module. And it, it opens these connectivities to these little breadcrumbs that you left. Now they can come in the form of gifts, energy, information, the whole gamut. Um, so uh, it's a, at one point the 12th project version 1 was born and then I did a massive update to it version 2 was born and then uh, about a year and a half ago I decided to update it one more time but this time I added the 7 physical chakras in there so now we have a total of 19 modules with the 7 physical chakras and they're basically all about cleaning and fine tuning that's it and um, so the 12th Project is, is an amazing piece of technology that's really geared towards um, the chakras, the physical chakras, and the virtual. So somewhere in there, I also wanted to... So I, I teach courses in conscious manifestation and unconscious manifestation, and I do... You know, I show people clarity between the two and how they work, but I wanted to create a program that would manifest things in your life. Because here I know how it works, but I needed to articulate that in software. So again, I set out to work uh, utilizing the um, Aquaware 3.1 engine at that point. Or actually, I'm sorry, it was version 2 back then. And I, uh, the source was born. So the source takes all the work out of manifesting something in your life. So. I, this is just how I see how it works. You, you've got your own way. That's cool, whatever. Um, so you consciously manifest something in your head that you want to you know, manifest in your life, whatever it is. And the, the basics behind it are you, you breathe it, you live it, you see it, and, and just when you're ready, you release it. At the speed of thought, source comes and takes it. And it 
you know, puts it at some point in the future, um, and it'll come to pass. Now, the point by when you release it and when it's going to come to pass is what we call the path, <clears throat> okay? And the reason people really can't manifest stuff in their lives is because they have doubt and worry and anything else that's low vibe. And as soon as you worry along the path, thought forms destroyed. It's gone. So you got to start over. So what the source does is it takes all of those principles and takes the worry out of it, okay? It creates the path for you because when you want to manifest something in your life, it's not just, if, if, if it's something large, it's just not going to appear. It, it, it has to happen in, in, in some type of practicality, right? So what source does is it creates light paths that parallel the path to get you there. And what it's doing is it's reconfiguring your future events, okay, to bring the desired object or whatever you want in the form. So it makes perfect sense when it is. So let's say, oh, man, I, I, I want a new car. I want a Ferrari. <laughs> um, you're not just going to walk out and it's going to be sitting in your driveway. But if it's if it's going to happen, Source will create those light paths for you. I mean, you know, abstractly, you go down and buy a lottery ticket and boom, you, you know, you a million bucks and whatever, you order your Ferrari. So that was, that was the Source 1. Source 2 was a massive upgrade. Redefined it again. Um, and then last year I released the Source 3, and this one was over the top. I needed to really, really understand how reality is created. And again, I went back to the Akashic Records, and I found out that Source uses nine symbols of creation to consciously create your reality, thereby manifesting something you want. So... I scribbled them down on a piece of paper. I hired a graphic guy to do the vector analysis for me and get them absolutely perfect, and the Source 3 was born uh, thereafter. And people manifest stuff. Generally comes within 72 hours um, after they run it. And, it, it, you know, and I'll give you an example. When I was, create, when, when I was working on this um, beta version back in January of this year, I needed to change... I needed to change my reality within six months. There was a lot of stuff in my life that just needed to go a different direction. And um, I left the, the, the beta of the source open on my development machine for two nights, not even directing it in the water. Okay? I finished the product a couple weeks later and you know, off into the world it went. Within six weeks, my life completely changed. Every variable that I wanted done, was done. And it happened at a, a speed and efficiency that was just mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. So, um, again, around that time, uh, you know, Aquaware was the first commercial product I ever released, and I'm in love with it. And I, I, I just, I, I needed to bring it back from the dead. I needed to resurrect it. So the current version, version 3.1, has 500 selectable intents in it, okay? And it's it's been on the market about a year now, um, and we've been uh, it's been selling through the teleseminars and everything. Um, about three months ago, I got the itch to redefine Aquaware once again, and that's just a couple of the crazy videos you see with the loud Motley Crue music. Not, <laughs> that's not the video tutorials aren't going to have that, but I just it's just like ah, I'm going to put it in there anyways. Uh, I got a lot of people. Uh, negative feedback about that, but sorry, can't help you. It's just what I felt. So, what is Aquaware 4.0? Um, for everyone's burning desire, it will not be available until first quarter next year at some point. Um, there is no price attached to it yet, but generally, and I really want to be clear about this, the way the software sales work is if you buy a version of the source, or I'm sorry, of uh, Aquaware, um, at retail or discounted, um, you are entitled within the longevity of the 3.x. Um, if I do updates to it, you get it for free. Okay. Any incremental jump in version, which is major, um, which would be version 4.0, um, will command 50% of retail um, for the upgrade to that. So what type of features would Aquaware have? I mean, 3.1 was pretty perfect. Um, so for a couple of years, I, I, I've been... I've been playing around with the idea of how human intention works 
and how source communicates with the human intention. Now, as humans, we all have ego. Um, clearly, I still have mine, but um, <laughs> I, I needed to really understand that. And the human psychology, the physical part of it, all needed to be taken out because from my years of research development, um, talking to many, many users of the product, um, they don't know what they want. They just, they don't. They, they get really excited, they type something in. So Aquaware 4 will redefine everything again. It's completely mind-blowing. So what I did was, I, in essence, I cracked the intent genome of how source communicates with a person's intention. And how did I do that? I was driving home, leaves were changing, and it hit me. Mathematics. So what, what mathematical model is in everything? It's the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence. So for two weeks, um, I went back to um, you know, the database, the Akashic Records, and I was given access to a formula which allows a user to type in their own intent up to 200 characters, and it takes those characters and it runs it through a mathematical model, and it returns a binary number, okay? Thereby allowing the user to consciously direct that number, which is the purest form of your intent anywhere into water. Okay? I did it. And uh, the um, beta testers um, are really mystified by what the hell's going on because they've never seen anything like this. Um, so what else do we do? Um, a lot of people are always complaining that they, if they're an Aquaware user, man, they got to go to the bathroom all the time because we only allow one intent into target water. Um, Aquaware 4 allows you to consciously direct seven intents into one glass of water by what we call quantum layering. It's a technique design that layers the water based on the intent. Okay, uh, two massive features going into it. Now, of course, I, I just I, I love capturing um, predetermined frequencies, and Aquaware Four will be sporting over 700 intents. Okay, wow. one of the biggest ones going in is what we call Brilliant Minds. Okay, now um, David on the call had done some work with Nikola Tesla and one of his buddies, and uh, basically I. have We've taken 24 of the most influential people in all of humanity, and I captured their best traits, okay? And you, for the first time in AW4.0, will be able to consciously direct Mary Magdalene, Nikola Tesla, um, and, you know, who are, everybody else that's on the list into water. And when you drink it, you will take on the best traits of those people. It's like, wow. Um, that is amazing. So how do you take on, like, just the best? I mean, as people, of course, we all have intentions, and, of course, we're always thinking, I guess to me, my assumption is we're always thinking good intentions. That's my assumption. I know you can do some bad intentions, but you cannot program bad intentions, correct? No, no not at all. Um, well, um, Aquaware 4 Beta doesn't have any of the security layers in it yet, but I, I trust the people that are playing around with it now. Um, so even if they did a bad intention, it wouldn't go well for them. There'd be a lot of karma coming back on them. So um, I also ventured off in a new area, and um, we're capturing vitamins now. So uh, vitamins, minerals, essential oils, they're all going in Aquaware 4.0. Wow. So we'll be able to instill the water with the vitamin intent, and um, you'll be able to drink it. Now, here's a cool thing. I'm working with um, two people. They're a team. They have a – I'm not, I'm not going to say who they are right now, but they, um, they have a book coming out about water and intention, and they came across my work about six weeks ago, and they started playing with Aquaware. Now, um, one of these people is a Russian scientist, and the other, I believe, is the author. And they have um, a lot of scientific data. And um, so far, and I haven't gotten back in there, but 
they, uh, the Aquaware that they're using, which is version 3.1, is really blowing their marbles. They, they've never seen anything like it. But um, next year, their work will be published with um, probably Aquaware 4, and um, you'll be able to see the scientific data that they've collected using whatever modalities and machinery that they're using um, in there. So there's some really, really cool stuff coming. We have a new website coming out um, probably within 30 days. Um, we have a really big surprise for the Aquaware 4.0 launch, which will probably happen first quarter next year. Um, so, yeah, we uh, busy, busy, busy. That's fabulous. You guys aren't messing around when it comes to launching Aquaware 4.0. And, Peter, I, 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 you've just blown my mind, I'm sure, for the folks that are watching. There's, there's probably just a ton of questions that people have. So I'm going to start with some, as you were talking, my mind was just like, <laughs> and, and I, mean, I know you get that all the time from folks because it's just like, oh, wow. I'm unanimated. I'm a nerd. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, first of all, when you were talking about the Akashic Records, and I just know a little bit about that. Um, so we're really needing to forget all the junk, basically, just forget everything, correct? So that we can kind of start fresh. Is that what we're needing to do for, like, the Akashic Records? And then um, does that also help with your programming, with Aquaware programming? Everything starts with unlimiting your belief system. That's job number one. So if you could pull a linear line up in, in your, your mind's eye, okay, and right in the middle we'll call that the zero point, okay? okay? And everything to the left of it is how the world exists today. Fear, greed, and envy, loathing, and, and everything else that goes with it. Conditioning, right? We're yeah. conditioned from birth to think a certain way. Um, not in the mechanics capacity, but in, in the capacity of really freeing yourself, okay? And what's happening is the world wants to move through the zero point, and everything to the right of it is the world how it was meant to be. It was a loving world, um, and, and I give a lot of examples, um, but it's really a loving world. Now, how do you get there, right? So as you move towards the zero point, you have to really understand that in order for the real learning to begin, you have to unlearn everything you ever learned. Okay. And, and that, you know, I, I say this all the time to people. I say, you know, you, you unlimit your thinking, thereby unlimiting your potential. So prior to my wake-up experience, I was self-absorbed, me, 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 I, 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 you know, the neighbor, whatever. Um, after that, I, I started, you know, I started that road to that understanding and it took me a long time to get there um, but when, once you've crossed things like the Akashic Records um, you know understanding quantum science has a beautiful way of explaining it all right but if you're intuitive you just know there is no space time and distance it, it where your attention goes the intention will go well how is that possible you know I get one of the biggest questions I get from people and when, when using Aquaware is you know do I have to put the glass in front of the in front of the computer I'm like uh, no it's like <laughs> I look I got mine I'm like okay what do I do I'm it's like right here in front of it you know and I'm like got it really close to me so yes break that myth you know and 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 you know um, on a lot of the interviews I do, I'm always trying to tell people, you have to think outside the box. I've been a consumer of everything electronic since I could crawl. Um, I know what works and I know what doesn't. And I care deeply for what I create and I'm very personal um, when I, well, not so much now because I'm inundated, but uh, let's say six months ago, you know, I was very, my, my personal phone number was up on the, on, on the web and People would call me at 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'd be like, what? <laughs> you don't even speak English. I mean, you know, so anyways, I um, ah, lost my train of thought. So unlimiting your, your thinking, thereby unlimiting your potential. And, and, you know, Aquaware does that. 
And if you can just think outside the box for one second with a tool as powerful as Aquaware is, you can change people's lives. I mean, for everyone on this call, count on your finger right now on one hand. How many how many lives have you actually changed? Donna, how many how many people's lives have you changed? Well, you know what? I've got three kids, and I, I can start right there. And and not because they're my kids, but because I am slowly planting seeds of things like this. So I know that if they're not getting, I have one child who I know gets it now. So the other two, I planted those seeds, and so they'll get it maybe a little bit further down the line. So I know those lives will, their lives will be kind There's of. There's some aqua wear water on those seeds. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. But you're right. You're right, Peter. We are. I mean, of course, we always, we all have that. Um, now, take it a step further. Create a product so radically outside the box. Um, market it. Stand behind it. Um, get it out in the world. And, and, and the first time that someone comes back to you and says, you know what, man, you changed my life. There's yeah. no drug that even comes close to that. It's mind-boggling. And the first time you do it, man, you just want to keep doing it. And that is a big part of what just pushes yeah. You're absolutely right. You're right, because that is that huge high. And, and luckily for us that you, you and we're that person that changing some lives for a lot of different people out there. And you know what? While you're talking about this, I'm going to pull up a testimony um, from a lady. She put some, some things on Google+. Plus. So you continue to talk about... Um, some programs or some the the product, and I want to pull up this testimonial. Yeah, sure. Okay. So um, I can go over a couple of the intents that are new to AW 4.0. Let me just pull that list up, and uh, I get some people excited about it. So new category going into Aquaware 4.0 is called Brilliant Minds. It'll be under the Advanced Features. Um, if I can find, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna recircle back into there. So I talked about um, vitamins going in Aquaware Four We have pretty much everything from vitamin A to vitamin K um, going in. Um, so you'll be able to take seven of these vitamins. Uh, you'll build a QLS session, quantum layering session. And you'll be able to consciously direct them into a glass of water and drink your vitamins on the go, if you will. Or you can put them into a five-gallon jug of water um, or your office jug of water or whatever. Anyways, um, we have flower remedies going into Aquaware 4.0. Oak, vine, heather, rock oh, wow. water, wild oat, uh, vervin, um, century, uh, in patients. I mean, it just goes on and on. We have essential oils going in, lavender, frankincense, lemon, oregano, peppermint, rose. Tea tree oil is a really cool one. I'm, I'm myself, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get on there. Um, we have a little bit of a surprise. We have uh, emulate the effects of white powder gold going in. And white powder gold was really the catalyst that exploded me into the world and was the precursor to my wake-up experience. Um, Jason Davis from Blue Emerald Alchemy makes the finest products. Um, we have alcohol enchant enhancement going in, which is uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> I have used that one. <laughs> Under abilities, we got some cool stuff. Um, telepath, time travel. Um, I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, still, uh, spiritual purposes, we're cranking it up in that. We have um, energy body clearing, emotional body clearing. Energy master is, is amazing. That one is just a lot of fun. Um, we have unconditional love bliss 24-7, which is going to be really cool. Higher level help, heart activation. Um, so those are all going to be pretty cool. Under super, super potent, um, <laughs> you know, I really wanted to think outside the box, and, and, and honestly, a lot of this stuff comes from previous users of Aquaware because they know the power of what can be created, and they come out with these mind-blowing things. So there are 
seven force fields going into superpotent aquaware 4.0 we have ascended space electronic device enhancements garden enhancements heaven um, meditation space sleeping space and transportation so basically you create um, an etherical bubble around you based on the humidity factors. The humidity is in all the air and you can charge that just like you can charge a glass of water thereby creating a protective bubble or a force field. So <laughs> these are going to be uh, these are going to be pretty cool. Um, we have all the allergies going in under conditions, dust mite, eggs, insect bites, milk, nuts, uh, pet hair, pollen, uh, shellfish, soy, wheat, um, and about 75 others under there. Um, and so we have, th this one is kind of new. Um, this is hair removal um, from the back of the hands for women, the forearms for women, legs. Um, I won't say the next one. And the <laughs> underarm. Uh, we also have perfect skin going in. Um, I'm going to pull up the Brilliant Minds because uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are asking me about that. And uh, I'll give you a quick, um, a quick list of what's going in there. Awesome, awesome. So while you're doing that, can I just read something? Sure. Okay, so this is from Wanda. And Wanda, she's kind of has, it's kind of a two-part thing. She's, she's also, she's talking about it, but she's also asking a question at the same time. And um, this one was one that was sent in, so I'm hoping Wanda is watching as well. And she says, hello, I'm wondering what is the best safe way to use this when having a sensitive body while healing from a lot of health issues and childhood issues? And already working with awesome energy healing person on changing core beliefs. So that's a good thing right there, changing her core beliefs. Um, I did the opening of the third eye last night with you, Peter, and um, my energy went crazy, not in a bad way, but my intention was set to heal and calm the nervous system and to have a good night's sleep waking up feeling good. While I did sleep a good six hours, when I did wake up my body was buzzing like I could fly to Mars, but I did feel positive. I actually had to lie down and do breathing to center and calm myself. So she's wondering any suggestions. Um, I do feel there is something, um, something there. And of course, she says a big thank you. All right, so I'm, I'm really ADD, so I lost about 90% of that. But let me go through the first part of it. Um, I'm not a medical practitioner, and I don't pretend to be, okay? Um, what your doctor says is what you follow. Now, um, with that said, um, a lot of people ask me about the Aquaware 3.1 manual, how it's kind of, you know, not too... Um, technical, although I give um, guidelines, because Aquaware is a tool to be used from an unlimited standpoint, okay? And if I was to say to you, you can only do A, B, and C. I have just completely limited your potential, right. okay? So what I tend to do is um, I give general guidelines, three to four ounces of water at a minimum. Um, you can do up to three intents per day inside the body up to three times a day um, and I recommend that you start on the low end of the scale generally between 20 and 25 percent okay because I don't know where you vibrate um, but starting down there and you know giving it a day or two and if you don't see results you increment it by five percent you will see results at some point um, detox with structured or programmed water is very dangerous okay because what is detox? Detox is when a person comes into contact with a high vibe energy, um, mm -hmm. a program like Aquaware, um, the light body is instantly brought up to that vibrational level, but the physical body contains heavy metal toxins, um, it contains everything that's low vibe, and it takes up to 72 hours for those, de those elements to start coming out. And if you crank aquaware up, 
and you are not used to it, you're going to detox. Now, on the low end of the spectrum, you're going to get some red eyes, you're going to get some uh, dizziness, maybe feel lethargic, tired, maybe a skin rash. Um, you, you might go to the bathroom a lot. Um, maybe a mild headache. <laughs> on the high end of the spectrum, you're going to get flu-like symptoms that will put you in bed for three or four days. Mm. And it will come on within an hour of using the product. Um, so I think that kind of addresses the first part one subcategory A, B of her first set of questions, right? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, what, what, um, I'm sorry, what else was on there? So she also had in there... Um, Okay, she talks about her intention was to heal and calm the nervous system and to have a good night's sleep and waking up feeling good. Um, so I believe in Aquaware 3.1 there is a intent for a great night's sleep. And um, I'm not 100% sure about her second question or her first part of it. Um, what, what was she looking for? So she was looking for... Uh, Okay, she says, my energy went crazy, not in a bad way, but my intention was to heal and calm the nervous system and to have a good night waking sleep. So it's not yeah, like... Great, great night sleep is definitely in there. Yeah, that she she actually got that. Uh, and again, feeling that whole buzzing feeling. So, And then I guess my question, kind of reading this and listening to you was, do you teach people how to recognize... Um, their vibration and their energy when you're doing your workshops because you know someone um, kind of going back to you when you first felt enlightened and things were happening it was you know I know you can mm -hmm. feel it I've never thought I was enlightened and all that are you teaching or do you teach people how to um, connect with that energy and and how to understand it how to recognize it how to direct it that to those types of things that's my question so the the workshop genre <clears throat> Um, since I w started working with my fairy godmothers, Karen and Salma, um, I've really exploded and they've gotten very powerful. And what, what I've been doing is I kind of follow um, what I call a workshop cookbook. And um, so it's basically, um, so we did Healing Portal, we did A Fear and Abundance, we did um, a high Energy One, and, and, and a couple other ones that really kind of followed the same same suit. And basically, we I teach people through very basic sacred geometry how to locate, um, and we'll, we'll use the healing workshop in that case, how to, how to locate their healing portal in their body, okay? And, and then I teach them a couple different techniques on how to honor that energy space, thereby consciously directing it to another area in their body where they maybe need healing. Okay, so after those workshops, a lot of people, depending, you know, back on point to you, where um, they, you know their vibration level is, some of them they, they can't find um, that they're healing, and I, you know, very quickly I just look at them and I tell them where it is, and, and, and off they go. So, yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. Because I, I imagine, you know, someone new to your program um, or someone, you know, wanting to learn these different things and, and how to make some changes, I, I, I got to believe that those are some, some really um, important workshops that they can, of course, go well, through. Sure. I mean, the workshops benefit everybody, um, but yeah. they're not they're not centered around software per se, right? Um, you know, so on the website we offer three different services. We offer the workshops, which we kind of went over. Um, I do personal one-on-one -on -one healing session or energy sessions with people, and 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 those go <laughs> those are wild. And um, and then and then software clearly. Um, in in any of those. Um, in, in, in all of them, I am typically the last train stop before someone goes off the cliff. Okay. Um, a huge amount of people that I um, have contact with have said they have tried everything out there. Everything. 
and you know, depending on what they're trying to do, maybe they have results, maybe they don't, but they're drawn to me in, in some capacity. Mm -hmm. and, um, whether it's in, in, in software, whether it's working with me one-on-one, -on -one, or um, the workshops, um, the large majority of these people um, have their lives changed through these products and services, yeah. Wow, okay. So, from what are your recollections, um, Peter? Tell us um, about one of your like profound testimonies from one of your customers. Oh, I got a perfect one. We're gonna use my brother's dog, Nova. Okay. Um, Nova and Ed were out uh, about two months ago. She's uh, she was probably two or three, twelve weeks old at the time, and um, she was off in the woods or the the deep grass, and um, she came back limping, and her bottom right leg. Um, swelled up, and there were no bite marks on it. And in the in the area of Connecticut where, where he lives, they have what they call a mobile vet. It's a whole bus that will come out to your house, and they'll assess the animal. They have an operating room if need be, and um, they really couldn't. They they said she got bit by a snake. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, that didn't happen. Uh, she was bitten by a black widow. Oh, then um. Um, brought the leg, uh, you know, um, swelled the leg up. So we used a anti-venom formula with an Aquaware 4.0. Um, that was part of the new um, feature set that went into it. And, you know, so th these people said that um, it would cost them $1,000 a day to keep the dog on premise. And they would nurse her back to health. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, give me a thousand dollars a day. I'll uh, I'll take care of her right now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, using that intent, in, in five days, she was fine, no problem. Wow. And so, and then from that, no signs of anything. Nothing. Um, Nothing. Um, that's exciting. Been chewing up garbage and plastic. You know, plastic. So and peeing on my rug when she comes over. And, uh, that's got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so how about, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's talk about, because you have right now a crowdfunding project yep. that's going on for the rest of this week, yep. and um, you are looking to raise money for Aquaware 4.0 and mm -hmm. getting that off the ground for the software. So... I know that's a very important um, project for you. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have planned for, you know, once you raise that money? Yeah, good point. Um, Aquaware 4.0 is the largest project I have ever done in every capacity from uh, the code to the feature sets to the packaging of the final product to the new website that will support the traffic that will be drawn to it, to um, a lot of the coding, which I personally just can't do anymore because I don't have the time. Um, so we now have two full-time development teams working on one on the website and one on Aquaware 4.0. And as you can imagine, um, they're incredibly expensive. Um, the new intent list and the instruction set are going to be written by a professional author. Um, no more ad hoc, you know, me using bad English because <laughs> Microsoft was out of date or a little squiggly red thing, but whatever. Um, the, the level that AW4.0 is going to is unprecedented. And because we want to do a massive launch of this product, we require um, a significant amount of funds for advertising. Development costs are huge, huge. Uh, obviously, the new website. Now, you, you have to remember, um, I still work a full-time job. Um, you know, I work 150 hours a week. I never stop. I never pass go. It's just, it, it, and I needed to farm some of this this out. And my, my brother came on board about six months ago, and he's doing this full time. And um, we're just, we're, we're wearing many, many hats. We're dealing, um, you know, with the help desk, the support issues, the development, um, all of the people that are being attracted to us and what we're doing is, is, is it's over the top. And Aquaware 4.0 
requires funds to push it over the top where it needs to be. And um, so we, we started the crowdfunding a couple weeks ago. Oh, looks like we got hung up there. Let's see. Peter, are you still there? Looks like we're a little frozen, folks. So let's give it a couple minutes and see if... Um, What's that? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. We had like a little glitch in the matrix there. Where ah, well, this last time you heard. I like, know, oh, sorry. <laughs> You know I had to. You know I had to say that. It's, it's my. It's my line. Okay. So that last piece that you were talking about, um, where it just kind of glitched for us, and um, so kind of take us back where the ending parts of which we're using um, the money for for Aquaware 4.0. So um, development costs for Aquaware 4.0, they're, they're over the top. Um, you know, um, a, a lot of the stuff going into Aquaware what I know is customized, costs money. The manual sets that will be written cost money. Um, I'm doing personal video tutorials. I won't be playing Motley Crue or <laughs> Led Zeppelin Cast. They'll be really, really high end. Um, it's a learning curve that I have to go through. Um, we're going to do it. You know, the 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 website. The we have two development teams working on the product. Uh, one working on the new website, and one doing some of the higher functions within Aquaware that I just I don't have time to do anymore. Um, um, so when when you start to add all this up, it's expensive, and you know it's only me and my brother doing this. Plus we have um, 15 contractors that are supporting what we're doing, and you know people need to get paid. Um, this product needs to be out in the world, um, and we're, we're working nonstop day and night. You know, we recover the help desk, we cover all the existing issues. Well, I do. He's got a little lazy, but um, and we're just we're we're, we're pushing the envelope. You know, you know what you know what that is. Forget about the product for a second. Any software product that you stand behind 150% and you get it out in the world um, is, is it's just it's a mind-blowing feat. But then when you take something that's still over the top like Aquaware for what I was going to be and you get that out in the world, um, it costs money. And um, we started the crowdfunding because we really need funds to get this done across the development platform, across the website platform, across the contractors that we're paying um, to help support this. Um, you know, in, in, I mean, just I can attest to the, you know, just the packaging of the product is, is you know, thousands of dollars just to, just to take all the files and put them together. Um, Aquaware 4.0 will be updated online. So you'll download it, you'll install it, and when I push an update, you get a little pop-up that says, there's a, you know, there's a new version of it. You click on it, and, and, and down it comes. So the, the crowdfunding is really a huge need in our world to cover these costs and um, you know, get this product done. Well, the product's going to get done one way or another. I would just prefer to hire more people to help get it done quicker. And nothing is going to be released until... I truly can put my name behind it, and that means it's going to be utter perfection, or it's not going to be. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. That's awesome. Now, I see that we have about 26 people watching us now, Ooh. and... Um, you got stage fright. <laughs> Why did you tell me that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oops. No, it's just me and you. <laughs> So, you know, I, I do see that there are folks watching now. So I want to say um, thanks to everyone, of course, watching. Now, I can't see your questions. So if you guys are actually chatting with us, or if you're just watching and you're just in awe and you just cannot, are like this, and, you know, your mind is just running a mile a minute, you know, um, I'm actually on that page unless we're in two different spots, and maybe we are. 
But um, if anyone is posting questions, I'm not seeing them. I'm also on Peter's um, Facebook page. And just so folks know, I just I want to just let you know kind of how to stay in contact with Peter because especially with the um, new program coming up, Aqua 4.0, I want you to be able to have some quick access. There is a new website that is coming and um, Peter, as Peter was saying, probably in about the next 30 days or so that will be up and running live. Yeah. Um, Peter, in the meantime, can folks, they can kind of go to your, or they can go to your Modern Day Mystic website, correct? Right now, just to kind of see your other programs. Can they still do that? Yes. Okay. Everything exists in parallel. The, 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 the website that we all hate or love is still there. Um, the new one that's coming is is top notch. It's a cut above. Um, you know, it's very Fortune 100 looking. Um, so well, that's awesome. So, folks, that website, of course, is moderndaymystic.com. Okay. But well, let me tell you some other ways for all you social media folks out there, and I know you're out there. So, Peter has a. Um, He's on Twitter, he's on Facebook, of course, he's on Google Plus, where a lot of you have heard about this session. And again, our apologies for the um, the issues, the technical difficulties. But here we are. It all it all comes around, it all works out. But to connect with him in Twitter, so if you want to follow him, he is underscore modern mystic. Okay, so you can definitely find him in Twitter under modern mystic underscore modern mystic uh, you can find him in Facebook now he's got a Facebook page that um, the personal page of course is very limited so you'll want to hop on over just put up a new Facebook page and um, that Facebook page is called modern day mystic powered by self empowerment technology okay so you'll definitely want to connect with him on his Facebook page. That is the page that is open. Definitely like that page. Send lots of love to that page, folks. Get on that page. He's always updating and adding new things to that page. Um, again, Google Plus, Modern Day Mystic, powered by Self Empowerment Technology. So you can connect with him there as well. Um, lots of different places, of course, to connect with Peter. So, Peter, did I miss anything where we can connect with you? No, I think we pretty much covered everything for now. Okay. So, folks, and of course, you know what? We are going to do this again. And before we wrap up, of course, I am going to... On time, we're going to do it again. <laughs> 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 it's going to work the first time. Um, but yes, Peter, before we wrap up, what do you think? Do you have um, any um, last minute things that you want to put out there that you want to say? What would you like to say to folks? Hmm. AquaWare 4.0 um, is really important to me in the world. And you know, funding this project is, is, is huge. Um, there's there's been a couple questions about uh, the commercial license. You know, what does that mean? Um, basically, it's it, um, you're allowed to install Aquaware 4 once it's ready on uh, up to four machines of your own. You know, um, that you own, whether it's at work or at home. Um, but the, the the project is is very very important, and um, we need the funds to get this done and get it done right. Um, I'll be hell-bent. I don't like pushing stuff off. I'm going to get it done if I have to work another 100 hours on top of it. But it will get done. But, um, you know, with donations and the crowdfunding, it just makes things so much easier to get it done. So, yeah, I mean, if you can just dig a little bit and, and, and help push this over the top. Uh, it's, it's you know, and, and we really didn't get right into that crowdfunding, so let's definitely do that. And as Peter was saying, the crowdfunding that is um, it's going on now, it's going until the end of this week, folks. So we really, really, really 
need you to go to Rocket Hub. Okay, so if you go to Rocket Hub, and I'll post the link as well, Peter. We'll get that posted on your on your social media sites. And honestly, it's one of those things that you know the beautiful thing about crowdfunding is we're not asking for one person to to do it all. Um, definitely takes a a village, of course, to make things happen. And as I always say, no man is an island, so definitely need your help on this. If you can contribute $25, that is awesome. If you can contribute $1, that is equally as awesome. So definitely, please go to the page. I will post that link up ASAP. You'll see it in YouTube. You're going to see it in um, Google+. Plus. You will see it on Facebook. You will see it in Twitter. Please hit that link and let Peter know you know, it's all it's always cool when you say, Hey, I just went to your crowdfunding page and I contributed to the to the program. So definitely do that. I'll, right? send, I'll send you a little piece of myself, that'll make you smile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And if that's not enough, he's got some really cool um, rewards for those who um, who definitely contribute yep. to the success of Aquaware 4.0. So we definitely need you guys to do that. You know what? It's so best to do that while it's fresh in your mind. Don't put it off. Don't say, oh, you know, I'll do that in, in about an hour. I'll come back to that this evening. Right now, while it's on the the, um, the tip of your tongue or right there, right there on your mind, just handle it. And of course, that really helps. Absolutely. Really, truly does help. Now. For those who want to hang out again, and uh, we're going to do this again tomorrow because it's just so important. As you know, and, as, and if you didn't get it, if, if you were sleeping by some small chance, Peter has a lot of information to share. A lot has gone into the Aquaware software. I mean, it just didn't start, of course, at 4.0, but just listening to the story of, of how it began. And, and where it's come from, you can see the different changes that has, you know, gone on with the um, software. So we're going to do this again tomorrow. It's going to be um, 8 p.m. Eastern, okay? So 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, definitely jump on the call with us. If you have questions that you think of a little bit later today, get on this Facebook page again go to the um, like page. Like that if you haven't already. Ask your questions there so that we can see that. Peter can see that. Get those answered. Of course, come back with us um, tomorrow night. Again, you now know his channel. Make sure you subscribe. There's going to be a um, lot of videos that are going to be uploaded to his um, YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribing there as well. All right, so I got to say, Peter, lots of fun, of course, chatting with you um, today. And for those, you know, of you guys overseas, thank you for hanging out with us. And we, of course, appreciate you. Peter, last, last words. Thank you, everyone joining. I appreciate it. Thank you, Donna, for putting this together. Um, and we will be on time tomorrow night, I promise. We will, and um, of course, we'll be posting all over the place. Again, folks, definitely jump on the crowdfunding. Your help is greatly appreciated. And um, Aquaware 4.0, Peter Shank, doing wonderful things and changing the world. So, definitely. Good job. All right, <laughs> all right Peter. You know what? You and I, before we go, folks, I'm going to say, we're going to do a quick picture. So, Peter, say, let's see if I can get this app up. Okay. Because, you know, we got to do a, um, a picture. So, I want to do a quick picture. But, Peter, say hello or say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. So, Peter, if you would enable your camera on the um, left side of the screen 
so that we can get a quick picture and send that in our postings, that would be awesome. Got it? Yep. Am I going to take a selfie? Yes. <laughs> now you do it. Oh, it keeps taking pictures of you. Hang on. <laughs> I got pictures of you, which is fine. <laughs> I'm not <a> camera shy. <laughs> there you go. There we go. All right, folks. I know you're like, well, this is this is crazy. All right, folks. Again, we'll see you back here on Peter's um, YouTube channel. Join us. Invite your friends. Definitely go to the Rocket Hub crowdfunding site. Show Peter some love. I'll be posting that link. Peter will post the link as well. Um, your contribution is greatly appreciated. All right. Namaste, Thank everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night, everyone.